You know, when I first started martial arts training, as I'm sure those of you who have done some martial arts have experienced, you start off as a white belt. And you walk in there and they, they teach you their very basic information and very basic skills that you're going to need for martial arts. After I'd learned all the basics, I tested for my yellow belt. Yellow belt was cool because it meant weapons training. Now the first weapon they start you off with in the Shaolin martial arts is the bow staff. I didn't even know how to hold it, but then I started to spin it. And then all of a sudden, I was at the end of the staff and it was slamming the ground. It was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And so they would demonstrate how you have to let the bow staff go by your hand one time so that you stay in the center of the bow staff. And so all night long, I just sat there and just concentrated and I could barely do it. Half the time I'd end up walking up the pole to where it was all off on one end. But finally, by the end of the night, I could actually turn the bow staff and stay in the proper position right in the center of the staff. And it was like, awesome, I'm learning the bow staff. Right. Martial arts is a self-defense. It's just strictly defending myself in case somebody decides to attack me unprovoked. If I'm out there calling people names and talking about their moms or anything like that, I'm not an innocent victim needing to defend myself. I'm a participant in a conflict. It was cool, once I had passed yellow belt and I was showed my proficiency with the bow staff, it was time then to start in with the jointed weapon. So they handed me this the nunchaku one night and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And they taught me just some of the basic spins. And of course, the first thing I did was smack myself on the ribs over here on the side. I was like, oh, I don't think I'm ever gonna learn how to use these weapons. But after a while, I was comfortable with the first spin. They taught me the second spin. My instructor told me that my brain was growing. I was like, no, my head's not getting any bigger. And he pointed out that when your brain grows, it's not that your head gets bigger, it's that your brain grows in complexity. You're growing new connections in, in the weave and the, and the complexity of your brain that you're growing in capabilities. I hear people give up on themselves. They say, oh, it's too hard, I can't do it. And as soon as you tell yourself that, you make the odds of growing in that direction extremely difficult because you've already given up. You've given up the, the, the will to try to, to make that growth happen. I had to have them show me that several times, but once they showed it to me and I tried with the regular bow staff, I thought, okay, I'm ready. Let me try with the three sectional staff. So you start off with the same basic spin and then you bring it around behind you Bring it back to the front. Let me show you that again. Now you're going to have your most successful brain growth through active participation. If you just sit there and watch something or you just you know, sit around and watch YouTube videos all day, your brain growth is gonna be minimal. But through active participation, through that effort, then you're gonna experience the most successful brain growth and your, your attainment and your increased abilities and skills will happen so much more rapidly.